Hi everyone, I just want to use this video to show people how you can animate uh, things like your doors and windows um, to open and close uh, with the Interact tool inside SketchUp and that just gives your models, 3D models, just a little bit of uh, more interest, a little bit of sort of dynamic movement which you can um, wow your clients with and also help you to design things like you know your sight lines between rooms and so on. So um, the first thing I want to create is just a, a, a dynamic component of a, a simple swing door. Now lots of people look at dynamic components and they get a little bit sort of worried about them because there's um, you know often there's little mathematical formulas behind things and so on but um, in in this case um, the, the, for, the code that we need to enter in to create our swing door is actually quite simple. So I'm just going ahead here and I'm just drawing a, um, a, a simple door. So I'm just going to group this. Um, so this is just our, our door frame and I'm just going to create a little door leaf in here as well. So I'm just going to use my x-ray tool just so I can snap to the right point there. And uh, in Australia, uh, door leaf is about 35 millimeters thick, generally speaking. So I'm just going to triple click on that and make a group as well. So, so we've got here, we've got two groups. We've got um, one is the door leaf, which is this object in here. And then we've got our door frame as well. So in order to create a dynamic component, we need to actually create a component. So I'm going to select both of these items together and I'm going to right click and go make component. Now I'm going to call this door um, a swing door. Uh, door, like so. And so now it's uh, it's um, the whole thing is a component, and uh, which is a a door in the closed position. So now, in order to get this um, to um, to open, what we need to do is we need to have a look at the uh, dynamic component attributes. So let's just I'm just going to right click on this item and go down to where it says dynamic components and it's just a bit off the screen. Let me just see if I can make that fit properly on the screen. Right click dynamic components and component attributes. So then what we get is we get this um, little um, oops, we get this uh, this box over here appears uh, which has our uh, component attributes. So um, now uh, let's just, um, so first of all our overall component is called the swing door and we've got two groups inside. Um, so let's just label these groups. So I'm just going to Call this one here, um, this is going to be the door frame. And uh, let me just go back out again. And so you can see now the door frame has been updated. And I'm just going to click on this one, and this one is going to be my door leaf. Okay, so, so now we have um, a swing door and it has two sub components a door leaf and a door frame. Uh, and it's important to note also here that you see there's this little scale there which says centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. So that's so just so we know that we're working in centimeters. And look, there is a little bug in um, the dynamic components that has been around for a while, which um, uh, sometimes the centimeters doesn't actually work, and you have to have to do things in inches instead. But um, for this swing door here, we're not going to worry about that because we're going to be using angles and uh, degrees, uh, the uh, universal um, way of measuring an angle, well, except for radians and uh, so on, but we're going to use degrees. So um, so what we need to do now is we just need to program this door leaf so that when we click on it, um, it creates, um, it, it uh, swings open, and then when we click on it again, it, it swings close again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to this door leaf attribute, and I'm going to um, press the plus sign here and add an attribute. And uh, the attribute I'm going to add is this one here. It's on click. Now, um, there's a, a lot of different functions in, in SketchUp. And um, if we click on this functions button here uh, and we have a look at these um, functions here, we can see here that there's quite a few different ones here. And if we can get down to the on click ones, we can't actually. It just comes off, goes off screen here. But um, um, the one that we're going to use there is called animate. So, um, so what we're going to, we don't need to look at those any further. What we're going to do is we're going to type in here animate, and um, what we're going to do is with this door leaf object, what we're going to want to do is we want to use the um, rotate z um, rotate z um, code in order to rotate the, our leaf about the z-axis, the perpendicular to the z-axis. So the z-axis is the blue axis. So what we need, the command to do that is to, is to put in um, a, 
inverted commas and type in rot and then a capital Z and then close inverted commas. Now there's a bit of a, an issue with the Mac version and um, I'm, I'm not quite sure whether it's the P, PC version as well but um, definitely with the Mac version um, the Mac has a habit of turning the inverted commas and actually instead of being just straight um, commas and I don't know if this is easy to see but um, what happens is that it actually converts those back into inverted commas. So we just need them to be straight commas um, because it because this little uh, script here won't recognize inverted commas when Apple sort of does its um, uh, intuitive um, fixing up of those things. So just make sure that those commas are straight and, and then we're going to type in comma and we type in zero and comma 90. So what, that's, what that little command there is saying that we're going to animate this object, this door leaf. Um, we're going to rotate about the z-axis. The first angle is going to be 0 and the second angle is going to be 90. We're just going to press enter now. So um, let me just see if I can make this window a little bit bigger so we can read it all at once. There we go. So you can see here and I can see that my inverted commas have marked up again. So let me just... That's it. Okay, good. So now that that's correct. Okay, so that's that's basically all we need to do now for this uh, this um, door leaf to open. So the next thing we need to do, and I'll just close this down because we don't need to worry about that now. The next thing we need to do is we need to use the interact tool. So the interact tool, you can find that under tools interact, and you'll get this little hand here. Or if you want to, you can add a little your interact tool to the toolbar. So when I do that, I'm just going to go. This is the Mac version, so it's a little bit different on the PC. But I'm going to customize my toolbar, and I'm just going to roll down until I find the interact tool. Uh, where is that little interact tool? Mm, somewhere in here. Oh, I can, there's one hand, but I need the little hand which is pointing to pointing at a little, oh, here it is, there, I'll just put that up there and I'll just chuck that, just chuck that up there, um, I might chuck it right on the end, how about I do that, over there, okay, good, and let's click on done, so now we've got that interact um, tool on our, on our toolbar, so it's just a matter of clicking it and then clicking on the door, and there you have it, now, one thing that, to, to notice, when we go down close to this, um, to this point down here, if we click on it, you can see that what happens is that actually it's pivoting from um, it's pivoting from this point here rather than from this point here. So what we need to do um, and is we just need to change the um, the group axis, the group axis origin. So if I double click on this object, so now it's giving me the axis for the overall component. Now if I just double click on this one again, you can see I don't know it's not easy to see, but the the axis lines are actually on this point here. So what I can actually do is I can right click and go place and then just move it from this point here, move it to this point here instead. And then I've just got to make the red go in that direction, the green go in that direction. And I'll just close that up, turn X-ray off again. So now when I go back and use my interact tool, you'll see that now it's actually pivoting around the the edge where the, the hinge for the door would actually be. So that's um, that's basically how you do a single swing door. Now, um, what I'm what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how to do a sliding door as well. Um, so, um, uh, look, I might as well just make a, a completely new door. So I'm just going to go over here and um, let's see, let's make it um, 900 by 2100. Let's just do a door frame again. So what I'll do is I'll do that, uh, 40, and I'll just push this back by 100 again, and I'm just going to group it again, make group, and I'm just going to put a face on the back, like so, and I'm just going to make it a bit thicker, so I'm going to make it um, 35 mil. So what we've got now, I'll just group that as well. And I might just move it a bit, a bit away from the other one, just so we've got a bit of space to open the door leaf. So if we have a look around this on the back side, you can see here that we've got um, 
our a leaf sort of sitting on the back of this frame. Now you probably would model it a little bit more accurately if you were doing it yourself with you know like a little pelmet box and so on. But um, uh, in this situation, we're just going to do a fairly simple door. So, so we've got our door leaf and we've got our door frame. I'm going to select it all again and I'm going to make a, a component of that. And I'm going to call this um, sliding door. Okay. And um, so uh, if we now right click again and we, and we bring up those component uh, attributes again, so you can see here we've got our, so this object here is our um, door leaf. And this object here is our door frame. Okay. Now, um, so what we need to do now is, uh, so we want to, what we need to do is we need to um, just take note of the, the current position of this door leaf. I think that's probably the way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the plus sign and I'm going to press this little um, X button here, which is equivalent to the red axis. So you can see that currently this, um, uh, the door frame is actually zero centimeters, which is perfect. I'm just going to change this one up here to centimeters as well. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to um, just test this. So now if I, if I move this uh, door leaf to this position here and then I look at it again, we can see now that the, oh, oops, sorry, I've made a little boo-boo here. We're actually not worried about the door frame. We're, we're more worried about the, um, the door leaf. Sorry. So okay. So right. So this in this position, it's um, minus eighty six centimeters. Now in the previous position, oops, and in the previous position, sorry, I just got to add this attribute again and subtract this one because I just undid it all. Yep. So it's in zero. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to add a new attribute here. And we're going to add the on click attribute, and we're going to now we're going to do that animate command again, and we're going to uh, instead of rot z, what we're going to do is we're going to say x. So what it's doing now is it's going to, we're going to um, change the x um, values there, and I'm going to go to zero and minus 86 now I hope this works um, because sometimes there's also a little bug in this um, in this um, dynamic components plugin which actually ignores the fact that you're entering in centimeters and converts it all into inches so let's just see what happens so let's press enter and so now if I I'll just close this and I'll get my interact button out and click aha excellent so there we go. So we've created a single sliding door as well. So that's that's, that's all it is uh, really just to do those simple movements. And so you can apply this um, to the, um, uh, if you've got a window which sort of lifts up and down, you can um, um, like, a, like a single or double hung um, sash window. Uh, instead of using the, um, the X value, so let's just go back to, um, let's just go back to my, Component attributes again. So instead of using this x value, what we can do is we can use this z value instead. And I'll just make sure that's correct. Hopefully that's right. And so when you click on it, you can see here what it's doing is it's moving my door leaf down by 86 centimeters again. So note that it is centimeters and not millimeters. So don't put in 860. Um, and I'll just take this off here and I might change this to, um, uh, yes, 210. So now when we click it, it should move up by 210. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's, so that's how you can apply this also to a door, uh, sorry, to a, a window. Um, as well as having you swing doors here. So that's, um, that's basically how this, um, the animate command in dynamic components work, works. So um, give that a go and um, play around with it and have fun with it.